Okay, before I start this review today, I just wanted to mention I'm going to do this new thing where I start doing quick reviews, and I'll do it all in one take, and this is just for movies that I want to review, but I don't necessarily want to take all the time to make a full review for them. So that's what this video is going to be today, and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so The Amazing Spider-Man 2. I thought it was a really good movie. The problem with this movie was Sony advertised it really badly. First off, they show the final shot of this movie in the trailer. I'm not going to spoil this for you. I might save that for my spoiler review I'll do later. But, um, so that's what Sony does. But actually, this movie was actually really good. I thought Andrew Garfield was good at, um, playing both Spider-Man and Peter Parker. And I thought that some of the side storylines with him were actually really interesting. Uh, the only problem was I had were the the character, the enemies were developed really well. The only problem was I, when they started to fight, then they really weren't that impressive. That sometimes, obviously, best one was obviously um Jamie Fox as Electro, but that's about it. And Sony also spoils a lot of the other stuff I'm not gonna in the trailers they show I'm not gonna obviously spoil those for you today but they also did that so anyway Amazing Spider-Man 2 definitely improved on the first one thought it was really good and I'm gonna give it uh, three and one-fourth stars out of five well that's been my review on Amazing Spider-Man 2 I hope you like it and if you liked it then you can Click down in the dis down there, down there, and click the subscribe button. And that's all. Thanks for watching.